the traditional world of textiles, which, you know, they use rotary screens to print large quantities of fabric, made fabric design as an art form accessible to very few people. When desktop publishing came about, suddenly everybody knew what a font was, <laughs> whereas at one time that was a very rarefied and specialized thing. And I think the same thing is true now that we have resources like Spoonflower where more and more people can design their own fabrics and make them. It's very exciting. about this idea. We were building a company that would let people create their own fabric designs. This is a woman who hardly used the internet at all. She sort of gasped and said, you know, I, all my life I have dreamed about designing fabric. That's something that I do when I fall asleep at night in my mind. I create repeating patterns. Once you teach someone who's never learned about fabric how repeat works, it's like someone has lifted a shade and you walk and you're sitting there on the bus or on the subway or walking down the street and you see someone and they're wearing a cool print and instead of saying like, wow, what a nice print, you're staring at it trying to find the repeat. And it becomes like an obsession trying to find the repeat in everything you see.